In this video, I'll show you exactly how to run Facebook ads for your Shopify dropshipping store in 2024. Let's start with the basics. Any Facebook ad starts with something called a campaign. A campaign is the structure that holds everything together. This is where you determine the goal of running ads on Facebook. Then under the campaign comes ad set. This is where you choose your ad delivery, budget and audience. You can have one ad set or many ad sets under the same campaign. Then we move to ads, which come under ad sets. Each ad set should have at least one ad. I'll try to make it easy for you by showing you a practical example. In previous dropshipping tutorial, we created this amazing woman's fashion store from scratch. You can find video link in the description. Let's say I want to drive sales to this particular jumper. First of all, I'm going to show you my dropshipping ads blueprint that helped me generate millions. We will have the campaign first promoting a particular product, then we'll create four ad sets targeting different audience segments, and under each ad set, we'll have two ads. Note that we'll assign a daily budget of $5 for each ad set at testing phase. But before launching our first ad, you have to make sure that Facebook Pixel is added to your Shopify store. You can watch my dedicated tutorial about connecting Facebook Business Manager with Shopify Store, I'll leave the video link in the description. All Facebook ads are created through Facebook Ads Manager. To access Facebook Ads Manager, you have two options. The first one is through Facebook Business Manager. Click on Ad Accounts, then click here and open in Ads Manager. The second way to access Ads Manager is by simply search Ads Manager on Facebook and click here on the first result. We are now inside Facebook Ads Manager. It's where you go to create advertising campaigns and manage them after launch. Let's create the first ad campaign. Click here on Create. Here we have to choose Campaign Objective. Go down and choose Sales. This objective will optimize your campaign to find people that will likely purchase your product. And then click on Continue. Here, choose Manual Sales Campaign and click on Continue. The first step is to name our campaign. In this campaign, we're going to test one of our winning products, which is this beautiful jumper. So simply, copy the product name and insert it here in the campaign name. Then click down here on Next. Now, we're going to work on the first campaign ad set. Go down and make sure that the right pixel is selected here, as your ad account may have multiple pixels. And at the conversion event, choose Purchase. So our ad set will be optimized for people who most likely purchase this product. Don't worry about this note. It will disappear with the first purchase event at your store. Go down to budget and schedule. Here you can set a daily budget for ad set. Note that we only need $5 to test the ad set. Go to audience control. And here we gonna target audience in four countries. Click here on edit and insert the first country, US. The second country will be Australia. And then insert the third country, Canada. And the last one will be UK. These are the world's biggest e-commerce markets for online sales, and by targeting them in the test phase, you'll get clear picture of product viability. Go down to Advantage Plus Audience, and switch it to Original Audience Options. Go all the way down to Age, and change 18 years to 21. And here at Gender, click on Edit, and choose Women, as only women will be interested in this product. And here comes the most important part of ad set settings, the interest part. As we are selling jumper, the women who are interested in sweaters or cardigan will be very good segment to target. Note that there is no one rule when it comes to interest targeting. You can think of any interest that's related to your product and try to locate it here. And as you see on the right side, the audience size for this interest is between 19 to 22 million. Now, here is the trick that most advertisers skip, which is narrowing the audience to only engaged shoppers. Click here on Define Further and search for engaged shoppers. Facebook defines engaged shoppers as people who clicked on Shop Now button in the past week. Our audience size is reduced from 20 to 10 million. It means that now, we only target people who are interested in Cardigan and at the same time, they have clicked on Shop Now button in the past week, which means that they are inactive shoppers and there are good chances to buy our product. Now, I'm gonna go all the way up to Ad Set Name and rename it to the interest name, which is Cardigan. Hope it's clear, if you are getting any value from this video, please hit the like button. It won't cost you anything, but it will help us reach more people on YouTube. And by this, we're done working on the first ad set. Now let's start working on the ads. Go all the way down and click on next. Let's create our first ad. First of all, choose your store Facebook page from here. If you have Instagram account, connect it from here, otherwise leave it as it is. And then go all the way down to ad creative. 
Click on Add Media, then Add Image. Go to the product page at your store, right-click on the best product image, and then click on Inspect. Find the section that contains the image, click on it, and then click on the image, it will open a new tab, right-click and save it to your PC. Go back to Facebook, click on Upload, and select the image. And click on Next. Click on Next again. And then click on Done. Image is added to the ad, and you can see Ad Preview on the right side. Go down to Primary Text, and let's write here something like, a jumper as ultra soft as the clouds. Go to a website called Emojipedia, and search for hard eyes. Click on the first one here. Copy it, and paste it after the text. Go back to Emojipedia, and search for arrow. Click on the right arrow, and then copy it. Go back to Add, and paste the arrow on new line. Right here 50% discount. Insert new line, paste the arrow, and write free shipping worldwide. These are the basis of any dropshipping store to attract sales. You can watch my dropshipping tutorial to know exactly the basis of building successful dropshipping store. You can find video link in the description. Then right here, shop now. Go to product page, copy website link, and paste it here. Now, let's insert ad headline. Simply, copy product title, and paste it here. Go down, and change call to action button to shop now. And the last step is to insert website URL. Copy it and paste it here. And by this, our ad is complete. You can check ad preview on the right side, and if all OK, go down and click on publish. You can view the newly created ad here in the ads tab. Click here on campaign tab. You will find the campaign that we just created for this product, knitwear jumper. And here at ad sets tab, you can find the ad set which targets cardigan interest. Now, let's create another ad under this ad set. Click on Ads tab, and then highlight the mouse on the ad, and click on Duplicate. Make sure to create the ad in the original campaign, and then click on Duplicate. Exact copy of your ad is created here. Let's keep everything as it is, and change the image only. Go down to Media. We are gonna delete this image, and add video. This product was recommended to us by a tool called Ecom Hunt which will contain video ad in the product page. If you didn't watch my dropshipping tutorial, then I highly advise you to check Ecom Hunt for thousands of winning dropshipping products. I'll leave a link to this tool in video description. Here we have amazing video ad for this product. Open it in new window and download it. Then go back to Ads Manager and upload the video ad. Click on Add Video and then upload it. And now we have the video added successfully. And then go up and change ad name to video ad and click on Publish. You will notice that video ad is added here as well. So now under the ad set, we have two ads, image ad and video ad. Let's rename the first ad, instead of new sales ad, to image ad. And by this, we are done working on this ad set. Let's create now another ad set inside the same campaign. Click on Ad Sets tab. Highlight the mouse on the first ad set and click on Duplicate. Make sure original campaign is selected and click on Duplicate. Here we will get the exact same copy of ad set along with its ads. We'll keep everything as it is and change the interest only. Go down to interest and delete the existing interest. Let's add a generic interest, something like women's clothing. And then go all the way up and change ad set name to women clothing. And when you're done, click on publish. You'll notice that the new ad set is added here. So if you go back to the campaign and click on it, you will find two ad sets, one for cardigan interest, and the second for women's clothing interest. And under each ad set, there are two ads. So by using duplicate feature, we can create many ad set and ads easily. Go back to ad sets tab, and let's create the third ad set. Click on duplicate, and then duplicate again. Go down to interest field. Delete the existing interest, and now we are gonna target people who are interested in competitors that sell same line of clothes. I'm gonna target people who are interested in ASOS brand. If your dropshipping store is in watches niche, then maybe you can target people who are interested in Omega watches and so on. I'm gonna change ad set name to ASOS and then click on publish. The fourth ad set will be for retargeting, which means that we will target people who clicked on our ad viewed product page, but they didn't purchase. This is one of the most effective ways to enhance sales. And in order to create this ad set, we have to create a list of audience who visited our product page. To do this, click on All Tools, then Audiences. Click on Create a Custom Audience. Select Website as Source of Audience, and click on Next. 
At events, select people who visited specific web pages. And at retention, change it to 100, which means that audience will stay in the list for 100 days. And at URL, change it to equals. Go to product page, copy page URL, and paste it here. And then go down and insert audience name, let's call it knitwear jumper audience. And then click on create audience. And by this, audience list is created successfully, and now all visitors to the product page within 100 days will be added to this list. Now let's go back to the ads manager and create the fourth ad set. Go here and click on campaigns. Click on the campaign. And here at ad sets, highlight the mouse on any of them and click on duplicate. And then duplicate again. Go down to where it says custom audience. Click on it and you will find the audience list that we just created, select it here. Go down and untick reach people beyond custom audience. And here at interests, delete both of them, as with retargeting we don't define any interest. Go up and change the ad set name to retargeting. And then click on publish. And by this, we finished creating our first campaign, which has four ad sets, and each ad set has two ads. Note that you have to follow the same steps when testing any dropshipping product. If you get good results at testing phase, then increase ad set budget and create new ad sets targeting European countries. If the results were bad, then kill the campaign and test different products. Note that you have to keep trying till you find your winning product that will change your life. Thanks for your attention, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more tips on dropshipping.